Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. The day is broadcast. Another group of freedom fighters left for the front. U.S. city of Glendale recognizes the independence of the Republic of Artsakh. There are local battles in some directions of frontline Artsakh Defense Army. International pressure on Azerbaijan must be strengthened, deputy of the Council of Europe. Iran has developed an initiative for the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict settlement Zarif. A documentary is being made in Kurdish about abandoned churches in Hakari. The 1,700-year-old church in Mardin, Western Armenia is put on sale on the internet. Today another group of freedom fighters left from Dosav for the front. This was the third group, the fourth is being formed. The volunteers left in a victorious mood, believing that one day they would return with victory. Everyone unanimously insisted that the Armenian army should finally stand on the banks of the Kur River. The president of Western Armenia, Armena Gabramian, was also present there. He wished the fighters a victorious return. Afterwards, President Armena Gabramian met with the head of Dosav Armenia, General Arkady Tadevosyan. During the meeting, the organized organizational issues of the volunteer groups and the current situation on the front line were discussed. The City Council of Glendale, California, USA has recognized the independence of the Republic of Artsakh by 5 voice to 0. The resolution recognizing Artsakh's independence was tabled by Glendale Mayor Vrej Agajanyan. The resolution states that Artsakh has historically been Armenian territory, populated by an overwhelming majority of Armenians. The Artsakh Republic is a free sovereign state, based on the principles of international law. From September 27, 2020 until now, Armenian schools, hospitals, churches and houses in Artsakh and Armenia have been attacked by Turkey and Azerbaijan with the aim of continuing the genocide, the resolution reads. The resolution calls upon the U.S. President and the Congress to recognize the independence of Artsakh for the purpose of bringing peace and stability to the South Caucasus. During the night, the situation in the artsakh azerbaijani conflict zone remained relatively stable and tense. In the evening, the adversary continued shelling peaceful settlements of artsakh Martuni and the villages of Askeran. The Artsakh Defense Army informed about this. Currently, local battles are taking place in some directions of the front line, and the Defense Army units continue to neutralize the subversive units of the adversary. Yesterday, Azerbaijan fired smart rockets at the residential area in the village of Nangi in artsakh Martuni region, where many civilians temporarily displaced from a number of other communities took refuge. As a result, three women were injured as well as house was completely destroyed. Other houses and infrastructures of the community were damaged to varying degrees. Lars Patrick Berg, member of the European Parliament, calls for increased international pressure on Azerbaijan as the already fragile ceasefire in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone becomes more and more fragile. The MP also stressed his concern over Ankara's role in the South Caucasus. Referring to military diplomatic sources, Berg referred to the details of Turkey's intervention in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict caught in the Russian commerce and newspaper. According to the article, Ankara sent 600 Turkish servicemen to the military exercises held in Azerbaijan in July August. These soldiers then remained on the ground to support the Azerbaijani attack. Patrick Berg stressed that the newspaper also described specific cases when military equipment and personnel were transported by the air from Turkey to Azerbaijan. Foreign Minister of Iran Javad Zarif attended a discussion on the developments in Nagorno-Karabakh at the Parliamentary Committee on National Security and Foreign Policy. During the session, Zarif announced, right now the Deputy Foreign Minister is near the border of Iran with Armenia-Azerbaijan. He is touring at the Khoda Afrin Dam, after which he will leave for Baku, Moscow and Yerevan. Iran has developed an initiative for a lasting settlement of Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, which will be presented today or tomorrow, Zarif said. The Iranian Foreign minister added that they are concerned over the presence of Takfiri terrorists and other terrorists in the region. In this regard, we have already mentioned that it's not acceptable for the Islamic Republic of Iran, he said. A documentary film is being shot in Kurdish about the remaining churches of the Christian national minorities in Hakari. The film, entitled Response Scream, is dedicated to 10 churches. According to the source, a significant part of 150 important churches in the province of Hakari has collapsed and the remaining 30 churches are being destroyed by thieves. Journalist Emin Sari's 14-minute film Response Scream is dedicated to the theme of the still standing churches. The author of the film, Emin Sari, told the media reporter that there are many famous historical structures in Hakari that they wanted to study, but before that the opportunities were not enough. A significant part of the churches and monasteries will soon be completely destroyed. I hope that this film will arouse interest in these buildings, he added. 
The owner of the 1,700-year-old Assyrian church in Mardin, Western Armenia, is selling the building. The church, which is registered as a cultural value by the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, consists of an entrance, two separate rooms, places of worships. There are also the tombs of the three priests and two separate tunnels. For more than 100 years, the church was not used as a place of worship. It was used as carpentry workshop. The seller of the church hopes that it will be bought by someone belonging to the Assyrian community and will restore the Christian faith. Now let us represent your attention a song by Mara Tuk Ensemble. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.